We're gonna make a game in 30 minutes. Yeah, I know, original idea. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, since we only have 30 minutes and that's like, like not a lot of time, it's like an hour, but half of it. So like half an hour, which is not a whole lot of time, which is probably why the game is gonna be terrible. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I hate that. So I fired up a new project and boom, square. Then I made another square, which is going to be our platform. And just like that, we have working physics. And with all of my amazing graphics out of the way, it's time to do some of that coding. Now, I usually just ask AI to do the coding for me and then everything works. So I can't really explain what I did here, but essentially I was trying to make the player move around because um, like a wise man used to say, moving a around is a cool, haha. <laughs> and there we go. Now we have a triple A level player movement system. Next up, I coded the camera to follow the player along the Y axis. Then I let AI cook up a script that will randomly generate platforms in our world. I mean, then I, all by myself, created a script that will randomly spawn platforms. Now since we need like a map to walk and jump on, we are basically just generating a bunch of platforms around the world that you will have to use to jump on and escape the lava. The only problem with the game now is that you can't die. Now it's just a jumping simulator, which, you know, I, is a little bit boring. So to solve this problem, I made some red boys and a big, fat, massive, square. You wanna know what else is massive? Obviously, red boys and lava make any game better. Everyone knows that. So when you fall into the lava or touch one of those red boys, yeah, you guessed it, you f die. Lol, you suck. This is so dumb. This is by far my worst game ever. And we have three minutes left and the game still looks like a piece of crap. So let's make the game look better to distract everyone from the terrible gameplay and all of my mistakes. Nice. Hey, so let's just add some f post-processing. Yap, check, add this, and I want this too. Boom! And the game still looks like but I tried. At least the gameplay works properly and you know that's what's important. And we're done. Yeah. And that's the game, guys. The game is terrible. I absolutely f hate it. But because I like to publish terrible games to itch.io, uh, we're just gonna work a bit more on this game today and turn it into an even more terrible game. First off, I implemented a grappling gun because grappling guns are cool. Now you can swing around and save yourself from falling into the lava. And then I made it so that the player rotates and changes size when moving. Then I added some particles and stuff in the background. I don't know. And also, a uh, green circle. If you touch them, you get a boost. So yeah, cool. And we also need some kind of score system. So I added a number that goes up the higher you go. And I also made it so that you can see how many meters the lava is below you, which is pretty nice. And while doing all of this, I realized that my game needed some music and sound effects. So I went to freesound.org and found this pretty cool theme song. I also made some sound effects using SFXR and hooray, we now have music in our game. Main menu, settings, high score system, and the game still looks like shit. Anyway, time to upload the game to itch.io, which is pretty easy. I ha have done it a couple times before, so yeah. The first thing we need is a logo. And then we need to name our game. And since this game is awful and f terrible, we're just gonna name it Squarely Awful. And then you just upload it. And boom, Squarely Awful is out now on itch.io. Bro, what am I doing? I don't know why I wasted my time putting together this piece of shit game. But, um, you know, if you wanna play it, you can download the game using the link in the description down below for absolutely f free. So, you know, go download it.